Slipper Vic State Championship, beating Lunenburg three to two. Two straight balls to start this uh, first inning, but um, so CeCe's got to wait for hers. Yeah, ball three, three and zero. Oh. So CeCe could be taken all the way here. Yeah, she's gonna take a maybe a pitch or two here because you know three and zero, oh, not usually swinging, but who knows? Frontier making a bench making a lot of noise here. He winds and deals, and that is ball four. So green is on with four straight balls, and the batter will be Macy Ring, the shortstop. <coughs> and I think uh, it's ironic because Rick is Conti is usually known for her control, and uh, that it's rare to see her. Issue a four pitch walk. Yeah, maybe she was a little rattled by this uh, frontier bench and being away game. You never maybe, know. Maybe. You never know. They're making a lot of Ooh. Fouled off. How did Macy Ring's uniform get so dirty already? Uh, that's play at shortstop. Oh, okay. <laughs> she right. made that diving attempt. I was going to say, <laughs> that didn't take long. Yeah. <laughs> Top of the first. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, senior for frontier, Macy Ring, so. And they're glad to have her back as she was gone for that 3-0 uh, losing streak for Frontier. Ring fouls it off. Out of play. So two straight strikes there, opposite of the uh, first of batter. For, um, so. Counts 0-2. Conti deals. Ooh. Swing and a miss. So Ring is down on three. One down, and the batter will be Lucia Dulette. We'll see the left fielder, one of the two duets in the lineup, both power hitters. Yeah, and they they're three four, so that's uh, <laughs> that says something. Ooh, ball goes to the backstop, and it's going to be uh, Green advancing to second on the pass ball. So Frontier has their first runner in scoring position. One and zero count to Lucy Duet. Yeah, and if you're a frontier here, you want to take advantage of that uh, man in scoring position. Being at second is a lot different from being at first. Yep. High for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. See if uh, Lucia can piece up uh, a hit here. Fouled off. Two and one the count. One thing that I uh, was talking to Amelia about on um, Monday was that's different about softball and baseball is that uh, overhand and underhand, you know, on the mounds. So it's almost a completely different sport in that aspect. Absolutely. 
But with some of the velocity you're seeing like that, high for all 3-1, um, in some ways softball is tougher yeah. because of the velocity and the relatively short distance between the mound and the uh, plate. Another thing that uh, we brought up was that uh, softball is actually, uh, they did a, a documentary on it, it's actually harder, and uh, Lucia will take your base as she walked there. And up to bat, you have uh, number 13, her sister, Charlotte Dulent. So two walks, two base runners for Frontier, one out, and Charlotte is up. We've seen Charlotte go yard here before. Yeah, two guys in scoring position, you'd have to think she's swinging for the fences. Popped um, up behind second base, Katie Hazelton, who just was able to pull it in. Ooh. It, it uh, was in her mitt, and she caught it with the other hand. So two down for Olivia Dean, the pitcher. See if Olivia Dean can um, uh, do something here. She's another senior for Frontier. Um, pitcher versus pitcher, mano y mano. <laughs> High ball one. One and oh, the count to live. She gets on, Delaney Fifield will be the hitter. She's uh, on deck as Delaney, and she's an only an eighth grader for Frontier. Ooh. Fouled off. Ooh, Olivia wanted that one. Yeah, I think they just, I think all the Frontier hitters so far, what they need to do is wait for their pitch. And I think they're either a little ahead, a little behind. And you have to thank uh, Greenfield's pitcher for that. High again. A little, a little wild, but um, she may get in her groove in the second inning. And hey, two outs. We'll see uh, what, uh, Green, what happens here. Conti. Ooh. Pop up behind right second drop. base. Short right field. It's in. Going around and scores. Green will score. And Dulek goes to third base. So it's an RBI single for Olivia Dean. And it's one nothing Frontier. And that is huge if you're Frontier. Especially uh, take that 1-0 lead in the bottom of the first. And it, that is great. So now... Uh, Courtesy runner is uh, Michaela Santos <laughs> for Olivia Dean. And that is a huge hit once again. You could tell it was dropping once it was off the bat. <coughs> Delaney Fifield, the center fielder, stepping in. You'd have to think that uh, Michaela may steal here. Because I'm with a man on third. I would think. <coughs> She leads off ball one. <coughs> we'll see if uh, the eighth grade sensation for Frontier does something here. Strike at the knees. One ball, one strike. Yeah, that was a clutch two out hit again by Olivia Dean. And now um, the batter's playing fee field with man on third and man on first. Down Around the line. Ball. Nice stop of the first oh. baseman, and that'll retire the side. So one unassisted, and that ends the inning, but Frontier gets one. The end of one inning, it's Frontier one, Greenfield nothing. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by attorney Daniel F. Gray. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance. Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. We go to the top of the second now. It's going to be Katie Hazelton, Amber Bergeron, and Bree Widello, the three hitters 
for Greenfield, trailing 1-0. <coughs> and Olivia Dean, with the RBI single, is in the circle. Strike on the inside corner. One ball, one, uh, no balls, one strike. To Katie Hazelton, one of the better athletes on this team. Yeah, and like I was saying early off air to you, um, she, I saw on like, uh, I think it was Greenfield's Instagram page, that she hasn't played baseball since, or softball, um, since eighth grade, so. Natural athlete. Yeah. Ground ball to short. Whoa, high oh. throw over the <clears throat> first base person. Oh, they could get her at second, though. Hazelton slides in at second, and she is safe. That's going to be a throwing error on the shortstop. And Katie Hazelton is in the scoring position on the error. Yeah, so Frontier got that one run in the last bottom of the first, and now uh, top of the second. Good way to start the inning if you're Greenfield. The batter will be Amber Bergeron, first base person. <coughs> we got another lefty. It's Megan Self. Fouled off. Nothing in one. Bergeron made a good defensive play to save uh, a run and end that first inning for Frontier. Otherwise, that ball was labeled down the first base line. Fouled off again. Nothing in two. John Hickey, of course, the girls' basketball coach, is also the girls' softball coach here at Greenfield. Known John for a lot of years. Very, very good coach. Ball low, one ball, two strikes. Hazelson leads off the second. Yeah, maybe they put a hit and run or a bunting play um, on to move it to third, and then with no outs. Just Ooh. outside. That evens the count, two ball, two strikes. Yeah, so last game on Monday night, there was a lot of bunting. Really? I'll say that. There was. I think there was at least three, four bunts. Oh, fly ball to center field. Will she tag, though? Oh, oh no. It was dropped. <laughs> and Hazleton will get to third on that. So that's an error on the center fielder. Yeah, it just popped right out of her glove. Which, um, with a bigger ball for softball, and that may be another, um, another aspect of the game that makes softball harder than baseball. So two errors. Sets the table for Bree Waddello, the right fielder. Runners at second and third for Greenfield, trailing one nothing. Comes up swinging. Round ball foul down the third base line. Right into the fans over there. <laughs> now, do you know uh, or do you know uh, Greenfield's record by any chance? I don't. I did not look that up, unfortunately. Um, I do not know for sure who, what Greenfield's record is, but I know I that they're very competitive. Yeah, I know they Green almost beat Turner's the other day. Yeah, I know uh, Frontier. They only have three losses on that season when they had that losing stretch, um, where they were missing a couple key players. So, in the dirt to Wadello. You'd have to assume. This is uh, maybe could affect the seeding this game for the playoffs. Oh. Fly ball down the left field line and foul. So if she strains that out a little bit. That uh, yeah, she's just a little bit, a little hair ahead of it. Yeah, she did it down the third base line. Dean winds and fires. Swing and a miss. And it went. Oh, oh no. no. And they overthrew first base. So, so Waddello strikes yeah. out. And, and two runs are going to score on the third error of the inning. Waddello's going for third. Oh, no. And she is safe at third. And she's going to get home. Oh, my so gosh. So a strikeout becomes almost a home run, basically. And you and know what's crazy about that is that is three unearned runs there. That's correct. Because they were all errors. So, three one Greenfield. Oh, that is dev now. Yeah, okay, coach. Got to talk it over. Yeah, Coach Dean's got to talk around there. That defense is 
there was no errors on uh, Monday night. So The wheels have come off the Red Hawk wagon. No outs. That's the first time I've ever seen a kid strike out and reach home. I've, I've never seen that either. The, I've, the only thing I've ever seen that is close to that is a bunting home run. <laughs> so. Bizarre. That so 3 1 Greenfield, and the coach out to calm his troops down. Is, is there still, there's still no outs, correct? No outs. Oh, man. Three consecutive errors an error on the shortstop, an error on the center fielder, and an error on the catcher on that throwing error. Yeah, so that's, that's huge if you're Greenfield. A, a strikeout that's basically a home run. <laughs> and they go back to the top of the order. Caitlin Larrabee, the center fielder, flat out to left her first time up. So, Frontier, wow. you, and you don't want to hand these guys any gifts. Yeah. I mean, the team is too good. That's, that's three, we'll, we'll count it three errors, three gifts yep. right there. Correct. One strike to Larrabee. And hey, it's still only the second, top of the second, so you can't count Frontier out either. Correct. So we're going to miss strike two, so 0-2 quickly to Larrabee. Ainsley Flynn is the on-deck hitter. <coughs> Ooh, ground ball to third. Gobbled up, throw to first. And Larrabee is cut down, 5-3. to three. And so the batter, the batter will be Ainsley Flynn, the third baseman. Singled and reached third her first time up. Yeah, so there we go. Frontier, basically it's almost like a new inning with that uh, strikeout there. Those home runs. <laughs> um, but uh, so with one gone, you got uh, number 19 Ainsley Flynn. And that was, uh, the count's 1-0 oh now. A little high. High for a ball. There we go. Nice pitch. Right at the letters. Two strikes on Flynn. <coughs> Let's see if uh, that one's in the dirt. Real low. Counts one and one, or two and one, sorry. Good hitters count. Yeah, that's a walk. So, excuse me, that was actually three and one, and now, um, so Greenfield with a big top of the second inning, um, with now the batter number 29. Kelsey Richardson, the catcher. <coughs> she had a single and reached second her first time up. Ooh. Oof. Pick off play, that... Yeah. It's living dangerously, yeah. especially the way things have gone this inning. Yeah, and Frontier, they want to get an, another out here, especially with CeCe has an, has an arm at the plate. Inside and low. We'll see if uh, Ainsley will take <laughs> off to second here. So maybe they'll have a hit and run play. There we go. That's Round ball to short. Double play ball, maybe. Oh. Nope. And that's going to be an in infield single, I think, for Richardson. Yeah. That one definitely wasn't an error. And that actually, uh, she fielded in the outfield. So. so Richardson reaches with her second single of the day, and the batter will be Mackenzie Pollen, <coughs> who sacrificed her first time up. Ooh. Line drive, base oh, hit man. to left field. No doubt on that one. Laramie moves to thirds. The bases are loaded now. Green, Once again. Greenfield with a huge inning here. They went from um, three errors and, you know, that uh, whatever strikeout error that should have been an, error, an out, realistically. Um, but now they're, they're giving Greenfield more chances. Now the base juice. Conti, the pitcher, is up. Ball one outside. So, the, yeah, the mano y mano. That's how I like to say it. It's only one out here. 
Ooh, Greenfield could open the gates, the floodgates. Frontier's got the infield in. High for a ball. So this strike zone may be pretty small, but so two two balls on the plate. Let's see if Olivia can lock in here. And she does. It's almost the same pitch, but she's maybe a little lower. <coughs> I don't know. So good hitters count here, two and one. Three and one now. Good stop by Cece. Yeah. So Conti is sitting in the catbird seat with the bases loaded and a head on the count. I don't know how deep Frontier's uh, bench is for uh, relief pitchers. I know they have a couple, couple good pitchers here and there, but... Um, Oh. And they're going to walk in a run. So, uh, and, and I know uh, Olivia pitched on Monday, so I wonder if there's any fatigue um, settling in. But uh, we'll well, that, see ma that makes it four to one, Greenfield. Yeah. <coughs> so big, big inning, and still uh, with some runners in scoring position, the bases are still juiced, and now the batter is uh, number four, Rachel Dodge, the left fielder. Strike one. Dodge grounded out to the pitcher her first time up. And ended by, actually, grounded out to first, excuse me. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Again, only one out in this inning. Three unearned runs. And plus Dodge, a fourth one walked in. And yeah, and Dodge wants that swing back there. But that was an ultimately good pitch by uh, Olivia Dean. Fouled off. That's the one thing with baseball. It always hurts when it's like you foul it off and it hits you in the leg or something. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll never forget the time I was playing in the summer ball against Northampton and I swung, hit, swung and then I, like the ball went directly into my kneecap. Oh, awful. Just outside. So the count is uh, one and two, I think. Yep, Dean's not getting the, the calls in the corners today. Yeah, and you'd have to think maybe it's, the calls are going to go both ways, but who knows. Oh. Inside. Definitely a little low on that one. So uh, counts as twos, two and two. We'll see if she can get this uh, last strike there. But um, Greenfield ultimately has a good, good order up and down, so... Ooh. That one gets by CeCe. And, and pass ball will score... The runner Richardson, so it's five to one. It's definitely a rough inning for Frontier. <coughs> Paula moves up to third. Conti, or actually, the pinch runner Pat Node moves to second. And Dodge still at the plate. And not for long. Now Dodge is at first with the baseline balls. So now the bases are loaded again. And the batter will be Katie Hazelton, who got the inning started with an error on a pop-up to short. She scored one of the five runs. Did she uh, um, lead off this last inning? or uh, No. She, no. she led off this. this yeah. yeah, this they batted around this inning. Yeah. Well, that one's up. Fly ball. Pop-up. Third base. Oh, infield fly rule, so. Infield fly rule, so Hazelton is out. And that makes fly. two outs on the inning. Amber Bergeron will be the hitter. She uh, f would have been a fly ball out, but uh, an error on the center fielder, and she scored a run. Base is still loaded for Greenfield. Yeah, so those, once again, those uh, those three three errors. We'll have to go. We'll go back to it at the end of the game when we do our recap. But um, the three errors are big because this is the, with those three errors, this game, this inning would have been ended earlier. 5-1 the lead for Greenfield. Ooh. Pop up behind shortstop. Left field. And it's pulled in by the left fielder to retire the side. But the damage is done, and Greenfield puts five across. 
At the end of one and a half, it's Greenfield 5, Frontier 1. Red Hawk Softball, Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the second, and Frontier's got some work to do. They trail 5-1. to one. The batter will be the right fielder, Ashley Taylor, as well as Jillian Appinell and Savannah Upton, 3 for Frontier to face Conti. Was a little wild in that first inning, but right now has a four-run cushion. That was a nice pitch there. A little changeup. Yeah, so we'll see if uh, number 18, uh, Ashley Taylor, right, um, could do something, get something going for Frontier. Because they need to get some. High and outside. Yeah, Frontier needs to get something going in this inning because otherwise Greenfield could take control of this game. <laughs> Ooh. Swung down the third baseline. Can Loaded they make the first. play? And Just they got it. Out. So Taylor is out 5-3. to three, And the batter will be Jillian Appinell. In Frontier, what they do, however, have a very young team. I will say that. They ha do have some, I think, four or five seniors. But um, they have an eighth grader in the lineup and a couple freshmen to juniors. So that's what you like to see is they'll, have a good, they'll be good for a couple of years. Ooh. High and outside. Out of the reach of the catcher. 1-0 to Jill. Strike at the knees. So other than that uh, first inning for, um, well, first and second inning for the, the pitcher for Greenfield, She's been pretty pretty solid so far. Same place, inside corner, one and two to count. Ooh, Ooh. Just inside. That is a great eye to hold that one back. Two and two to count to Jill Appinall. She had an uh, older brother, Dylan Appinall. Yep. And strike three. Oh, right down the pipe. So caught looking, two down, and the batter will be Savannah Upton, the second base person for Frontier. If she gets on, CC Green will be the hitter. Yeah, so two outs. We'll see if uh, Frontier can get something going here. Uh, and another senior for Frontier is up to bat and a lefty. <laughs> I always worry for us over here when the lefties come up. Oof. Strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one. Swing and a miss. Nothing in two. It's Conti starting to get into a groove now. Ooh. Swing and a miss, strike three. So two strikeouts in the inning for Conti, and that retires the side. We go to the top of the third, Greenfield five, Frontier one. This is Red Hawk softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the third now. It'll be Bree Widello, Caitlin Larrabee, and Ainsley Flynn. The hitters for Greenfield with a 5-1 lead. Olivia Dean back in the circle for the Hawks. High for a ball. Yeah, one thing that uh, is different for softball is that uh, well, I know for baseball, usually you give your pitcher a game in between for when they pitch, whereas Olivia, she pitched on Monday night, right. six innings, and then in the seventh, uh, Savannah came and got the save. Um, and it's just interesting to see her out, you know, pitching two games in a row, and I wonder who would have pitched tomorrow or yesterday if they had their game that was away. Well, that was, th yeah, no, that was a big question. That, that's been rescheduled to next week. Oh, fly ball to center and snagged and caught by the center fielder. Fight field and one down. Now the batter's uh, number 13, who's the leadoff man, Caitlin uh, Le Levine. Caitlin Larrabee. Caitlin Lavoine, you're right. Excuse me. Caitlin Lavoine. Oh, where I got Larrabee from. Lavoine oh, grounds oh. to third. Foul. They're lucky that's foul. Because that <laughs> would have been a. Uh, 
That would have been good uh, hit. The boy flat out to left and grounded out to third for the first two times up. I wonder when uh, Greenfield's next softball game is. is Ooh, line shot, base wow. hit just underneath the shortstop's glove. So Lavoine is on with their first hit of the game. And the batter will be Ainsley Flynn, who has is one for two with a base on balls and a single, and she scored a run. Ooh, ground ball to second. Come on, get one. Uh, and both are going to be safe. I think uh, at that point you would have wanted to just not even looked at second, just gone to the first. But uh, anyways, so now with uh, another, would that be another error? I think that that probably is an error so on the first on the uh, second baseman. So two on for Kelsey Richardson. He's got a pair of singles and a run scored in this game. Yeah, now Greenfield with another big opportunity. They have a man on second and a man on first with yet another error. The f I think Frontier's fourth error on the game. Fourth error, correct. And that's one thing when you look back at this game um, and when you talk to your players is the errors. And she well, don't let <coughs> that, but they walked in a run. They had a pass ball that brought it a run. So all five of those runs for Greenfield have been scored essentially unearned. Yeah, I think only the <coughs> pitcher, you know, if you look at the statistics, only that one walk-in run would be earned. Right. But even if, I don't know, if it was w one of the runners that was on was one of the errors, right. so it c might as might be all five runs. Again, running. our scoring is unofficial, but it sure looked like an error here. Yeah. Richardson digs in. Dean from the circle. She calls time there. Maybe to throw off the pitcher. Ooh, fouled off. Good low pitch. Yeah, great spot. <coughs> Lavoie was off with the pitch, too. I think that's kind of interesting. You see that big storm cloud. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ground ball back to Dean. She'll go to third for the force. Back to first. And too late. So forced out to third was Larrabee. Yeah, so great heads up play there by the pitcher, Olivia Dean, to get that uh, lead runner and get that force out. So the so runner's still at first and second. <laughs> Two gone, and the batter is Mackenzie Paulin. Sacrificed and singled in this game. Pollen fouls it down the third baseline. And then uh, on deck, you have waiting the, uh, the pitcher for uh, Greenfield, Gianna Conti. Conti. Ooh. Ground ball to short. Oh. And the hole. Base hit. And they're going to wave him in. Throw to the plate. Two. Not in time, and another run scores for Greenfield. It's six to one. <coughs> it's coming around to score was Flynn, and that's yet another unearned. Well, unofficial. We'll call it another unearned run, unofficial, because <laughs> uh, with that uh, error at second. So, um, and now the batter is the the pitcher for Greenfield, Gianna Conte. Ooh, strike on the outside corner to Conte. So Greenfield six to one. <coughs> and five of those unearned. Yeah, Low in the dirt. One and two, one and one the count. Yeah, you take away the unearned run and it's a one one game. That's right. <laughs> and now the coach is coming out, and I don't know if that's gonna be it for Dean. Yeah, I, I don't know if it will be, but maybe he's talking to his defense and I know um Olivia, that's her father for the coach, yeah. and, and uh, one of our math teachers at Frontier. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got two out, two on, 6-1 Greenfield lead, and a massive conference involving everybody. Yeah. I, I wonder if uh, there's also a pitch pitch count rule. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I was, I was wondering, because she pitched Monday. She might be on a pitch count. Yeah, so 
And and with that big inning, you know, that Greenfield blew open in the second. And this inning, uh, you'd have to think she's a little um, fatigued, you know. Yeah. Well, she's going to stay in there, it looks like. So the count is uh, two and two. Or two and one. We'll see what happens here. Ooh. Pick off. That's and that's maybe what they uh, talked about on the mound. No, Pollen's not going anywhere. If you got to run around second. Yeah, I think it was just a, you know, heads up pickup play. Make sure she was paying attention. Pick off attempt. Good stop by Green. That was in the dirt. <coughs> so the. Uh, Count is uh, now, I think it's two and three or two two. So either base hit, ball four. In the dirt, three balls, two strikes. Yeah, so it was just two two. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, full count here, and we'll see if uh, what happens. That's a Strike three to end of the inning. Just on the outside corner. So Conti goes down on strikes. Strands two, but Greenfield picks up another run. At the end of two and a half, it's Greenfield six, Frontier one. This is Red Hawk softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the bottom of the third inning. It's going to be CeCe Green, Macy Ring, and Lucia Dulette, the top of the order for Frontier, trailing six to one. Again, five of the Greenfield runs unearned. Green scored the lone run. For Frontier had to walk her first time up, and at that point, that, w that one run was significant. Yeah. Now, right now, it's uh, a drop in the bucket compared to the opposition. Yeah, so Frontier needs a big inning, and I think that bench is going to be stay loud over there. But it doesn't seem to affect a Greenfield pitcher. Well, that <laughs> <laughs> high and outside for a ball yeah. to CC. Say that, and then <laughs> yeah, right. put the whammy on her. Yeah. See what uh Ooh, that's short, gonna drop. Short little line drive blooper into the right field for a hit. So Green is on with her first hit of the game. And this and if you're frontier, this is what you need. Right here, this inning. You get a couple runs back and just chip away at that lead. Right. Yep. The so. batter will be Macy Ring, the shortstop. She struck out her first time up. And uh Dulet. We'll see Dulet is on deck. Yeah, and Macy's a senior for Frontier and she's she got a big bat for uh Frontier. Ooh fly ball left field and put away for the out. So first pitch swinging ring is down and the batter will be Duet who reached third and walked her first time up. And she's had a couple home runs on the uh, she has on the season, so we'll see if she can uh, do something here with it. High and outside, ball one. Yeah, I wonder if that's a uh, what she what the pitcher's trying to do is trying to get them to chase the outside, possibly outside away. She's certainly throwing enough balls out there. Yeah. And again, same spot. Oh, just back in the pickoff move was green. You know, something that uh, could have happened there was, uh, you know, hidden ball trick. You know, <laughs> act like you throw it in the first yeah. and just stick it in the glove. It's tough to pull out the hidden ball trick with a ball the size of a softball. Oh, true. Especially right? when it's Ooh. day glow green. Yeah. If it was any other color, you know, white <laughs> with the baseball, you can kind of get away with it sometimes. <laughs> exactly. You know, put it in your pocket and, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> do let foul that one off. Conti now toes the rubber. Eye for a ball. I oh. think the throw. <laughs> Speaking of hidden ball tricks, I'm not sure it fooled anybody. No, maybe fooled me. Yeah. <laughs> do let's ahead on the count here. Ooh, and she man. walks. So this is what Frontier, we were talking about. This is what they need. 
So with two two men on, CC Green at uh, second, Lucia Dulette at first, and now the batter is Charlotte Dulette in the four hole. And she's had a couple home runs on the season. Yeah, she fought out to the shortstop her first time up. But be, if you with a cork one, this is the time to do it. Yeah. Get get those run, quick quick runs back that the, you desperately need. Ooh, good hold. Ball one high. Way to lay off that one. Ooh, is that gonna be caught? Nice. No, it'll be nice. stay fair. That so one just sort of dropped in there right by the line, so we're wow. bases are loaded here. So now the, that was perfect position, and now the bases are loaded with the pitcher, Olivia Dean. We'll see if she can get something going, as I know she has a couple home runs on the night, or on the season. She singled and drove in the only run for Frontier her first time up. So the big either, you're either swinging for contact or swinging for the fences here. Grand Slam would be huge. One out, three on for Frontier. See if she can lock in here. Ooh, fouled off, strike one. A lot of first pitch swinging in this game so far. Yeah, so, uh, and that sometimes, like with baseball, I was someone who always swung at the first pitch usually, because it's the best pitch you'll see. <laughs> well, not always, but. Now one's high and outside, one and one. That's kind of been her uh, in this inning. She needs to lock in a little bit, the pitcher for Greenfield. When she's trying to paint the corners and it's not working. No, he, she's not getting the calls. Yeah, that one's just playing high. Yeah, and it's been going both ways. I think the zone is almost like right. It's a perfect zone, and it's a little small, but you know, with the, with different umps, it's they call it different. Everybody's different. Yeah, exactly. Goes for life too. <laughs> yeah, right. Another that one's high. Pick off throw to third. Green is back. So was that three straight balls? Or I believe that three? was three straight balls, and she fouled one of the first one off. Yeah, so so she's three and one with the bases loaded. So you'd have to think maybe she has the green light here, or she's going to take a pitch. Big pitch here. Ooh, swing and a miss. So now the count's full. Well, that one was straight down the middle. She couldn't. That would have been a called strike if she didn't swing at it. Yeah. So full count, bases loaded. We'll see who wins the battle with the pitcher versus pitcher here. Mano y mano. Ooh. Popped up. Is it going to be out of first play? Base side. And unable to make the play. It was in pal. It was in play. Yeah. Davenport just couldn't quite get a handle on it. And you'd have to think there is some people hanging inside the fence there for Greenfield. I don't think that's legal. No, but she was. She was. She had enough room to make the play. And they probably moved. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they did. So now a new life for Olivia Dean. We'll see if she can time one up here. Big battle. Mano y mano. <laughs> oh, fouled off. Almost the same spot. This time it goes into the bench though. Out of play. So this is going to be the longest pitch of the game so <laughs> far. <laughs> well, this, is a, this is the battle you like to see. Yeah, this is, I, lo I love long battles, especially either you're gonna, either the pitcher's going to win or the batter's going to win. And especially since it's pitcher versus pitcher here. Three balls, two strikes, one out, bases loaded for Frontier. Oh. Swing and a miss. And a high. Oh. High heater. But the ball was thrown away, so CeCe Green will score on a strikeout. And now the batter is uh, Delaney Fifield. And now the, the score is what, 6-2? Six 6-2 two? Six two is the score with that. So Frontier, you know, they're going to have to play scrappy here if they want to catch back up to Greenfield's lead, just like they did. So still two runners on, first and second. And the batter will be Fifield, who... Did not reach her first time up. Bunt. Ooh. <coughs> Bunting with two outs? Yeah, unusual. Which <coughs> usually what I what I've seen a lot in softball is they, they put the bunt out and then they pull it back yeah. on the first pitch. That she was definitely bunting all the way there. Yeah. Otherwise she would have pulled it back. 
So that means she must be fast. Oh! Pop up. Down our down our way. Uh, out of play. So two strikes to Delaney Fifield. She gets on. Ashley Taylor will be the hitter. And uh, the two si duet sisters at uh, second and first. So. And CeCe was at third and scored on that pass ball. So this is a big, big, uh, big pitch here. Oh. Swing and a miss. So Fifield goes down on strikes, and that ends the rally. So Frontier strands two, but they get one. At the end of three, it's Greenfield six, Frontier two. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by attorney Daniel F. Graves. If you need legal help, call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. All right, welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. I am uh, your host, Tom Elber, with Chris Collins. And that one was in the dirt. Batter is Rachel Dodge, and she has grounded out and has reached her last time up. I wonder what the last name Dodge is. she related to Jake Dodge? I don't know. There's a lot of Dodges in uh, the area. She might be part of the extended family. I don't, I don't think she's a sibling. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know about that either. I'd have to ask Jake. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see uh, see what happens here in this uh, bottom of the fourth or it's top, top, top of the fourth. fourth. Top of the fourth. Excuse me. That one was in the dirt for a ball. The sun has made an appearance. Yeah, earlier that that big cloud was blocking it. That one's a little high. So again, with that, uh, you know, very, very small uh, strike zone. Or, you know, not very small, just... Well, good it's, not, it's not all that consistent either. Yeah. And, and, like, how do you, when you're a pitcher, if it's not consistent, how do you find where to pitch the ball? Well, that's, that's the million-dollar question. <laughs> that's a walk for Rachel Dodge, so she's on board. And the batter is uh, Katie, Katie Hazelton. Um, She's reached on an error, scored a run, and flied out to the third baseman her last time up. She is uh, at the tail end of the order, but um, all around Greenfield, throughout the order, they have hitters. Yeah. So up and down. They're it's good athletes. Yeah. See what happens here as uh, Olivia Dean will wind. There we go. So I think that was a... That's a ball inside. Yeah. One and one the count. And again, we were talking off air that uh, those three earned, r those three errors were very costly. And Frontier would be right in this game. It would be three, the score would be 3 2 if you take away that uh, home run, whatever, strikeout. <laughs> home run strikeout. <laughs> home run strikeout. <laughs> strikeout, home run, error, whatever you want to yeah. call it. But yeah, you're right. I mean, it, that first inning did not help them. But they're still in this game, but they've got some ground to make up. And uh, he did not foul that off. Ooh, oh my gosh. Did it hit a dog? No, it almost hit the little girl over there. Oh. Whew. <laughs> that would have been a... If, see, if my dog were here, the ball would hit the dog. Oh my he, God. Hits, he gets hit by balls all the time at games. and He's a, he's a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not that big either. That was, that was like me in uh, eighth grade. I, I was hit like four or five times <laughs> the summer league. Oh, grounder to short. Maybe they can turn two here. Oh... So they dropped the ball, and another, yet another error, I think, um, and that will be uh, five, five errors on the night for Frontier. Yep. So Greenfield taking a huge advantage of the errors. And now the batter will be number 12, who's a left, uh, lefty. Um, Amber Bergeron. Amber Bergeron. 
She scored a run and reached on one of those errors in the first inning and flat out to left. Now, uh, oof. and they're going to steal. They said eat it, but um, threw it over. So good, good play over there at third base by uh, Charlotte to let's stop that being overthrown. So runners in scoring position again for Greenfield. No outs. And birds are on the plate. What? So now two runners in scoring position off that uh, pass ball. Good cut. Yeah, and that's what uh, yeah, Frontier needs. All right. Ooh, so another good cut, and that one would be fouled off. So uh, with two strikes on. Um, we'll see if Amber Bergeron can do something here. Two guys in scoring position. Ooh. Well, she protected the plate that time. Yeah, that would have been strike three if she didn't make contact. It was a nasty pitch for Mardin up high. Yeah, she's always been a really good uh, pitcher for Frontier, and you have to think, Frontier with a couple se great seniors, they're, uh, I wonder what they're going to do in this next couple years. So they may have to rebuild a little bit. But they do have some really good young talent. So Again, fouled off, protecting the plate. And same, with th same thing with softball. And, you know, with JV and varsity yep. and even middle school, you know, some, some schools don't even have... You know, middle enough players to make a middle school Correct. team or JV. So, and then there's some programs that have uh, just JV age kids playing in varsity, like Turner's oh, baseball. Yeah, I, I went and watched one of that game that caught the end of it. And it was like 13 to one by Frontier, and you, it literally looked like there was middle school player. There was probably some middle school players um, playing against Frontiers. You know, stacked team. <laughs> that was a big strikeout. Bergeron caught looking, one down for Widello. Who flat out to center field and struck out, but reached on error. She sc she wow. scored the K the strikeout home run. Yeah, and, uh, one thing I said on Monday night is uh, two people that look as they they get better as they the game possess, pro progresses is Tyler Branowski on baseball and Olivia Dean on softball. Yep. Ooh, fly ball deep center field. Kyle pulls it in for the out. But they will. Uh, did they? But did she tag up? Yeah, it's, I would throw it over to third there. Maybe question, you know, make them know something you don't. <laughs> I think they know. Something. So Dodge scores. And now Frontier, even though Frontier got that one run last inning, with the bases loaded on that strikeout, um, they get Greenfield gets another run back. And the batter Ooh. is Caitlin. Hard at grounded a third. Over to first, and that will retire the side. So Greenfield gets another one. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's Greenfield seven and Frontier two. This is Red Hawk softball. Frontier community access coverage. Go to the bottom of the fourth, and it's going to be Ashley Taylor, Julian Appinell, and Savannah Upton. The hitters for the Frontier Red Hawks trailing seven to two. Taylor grounded out. The third base person in her first time up. Yeah, and she's some. She's pretty young for uh, Frontier. Another young, uh, young player. Ooh, that one's in the dirt. This counts one and zero. Good way to start the at bat if you're uh, Frontier. Ooh, big hit to the right field gap. That one's down. And now Ashley Taylor with a single on the second pitch of the bottom of the fourth or fifth inning. Bottom of the fourth. Fourth inning. So Frontier could have something brewing as they're not, they're going down with a, or they're, you know, there's still a lot left to play in this game. Jill Appinell is going to step in now. She struck out looking her first time up. She'd like to get a hold of one here. Yeah, and she's the uh, eight, eight spot in the uh, lineup. So Frontier at the bottom of their lineup, um, maybe they can do something here. 
as this is this is a big in another they need another big inning you know they got the base load and they only got one last one so ooh swing and a miss <laughs> Appenel wanted that pitch yeah just a hair behind it sun is uh, definitely out right now yeah <laughs> it's hiding those first couple innings fakes the bunt uh oh pick up oh and a throw away Nope. She's, she's not going to go anywhere, though, because the right fielder backed it up. So Yeah, good heads-up play by the right fielder because the second baseman was already over there. And Taylor was about five steps off the bag and had to go back diving. Yeah, if she was on her feet, she would have probably taken off right. the second. But uh, since she dove back, it's hard. Fakes the bunt. Same thing again. So I think the play here is they're drawing in the first and third baseman. So Taylor can take off the second right. and maybe get third, too. Or get, you know, halfway to third. Appenel digs in on the pitch. Ooh. Foul tip. Caught Richardson in the mask. Goes all the way to the backstop. So Appenel's still alive. Yeah, and uh, another thing we were talking about um, on Monday night that I mentioned was in Cheryl, um, one of our crew, Ooh. Fouled off. And so one thing Cheryl said was that uh, because softball, the reason softball is considered harder, and everyone thinks baseball is harder than softball, is because the distance from the pl the mound to the plate. Right. You have a one last one or two less seconds to react. Correct. Well, that one's away. So Taylor will get second, and that's a stolen base on the night. And now uh, Frontier could have has something brewing here with a man in scoring position with no outs. Front to your bench, letting Julian hear it. Ooh. Fouled off. This is a great battle. It is. Appenel had to protect the plate there, did a good job of it. Yeah, she had a couple of those. You know. And that's one thing you want to appreciate as a hitter. And pitching, you know, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want the, uh, the batter to foul a bunch off because the pitch count goes up. Right. Oof. And that's strike three. Oh, oh, oh. Appenel can't believe it. Oof. Second strikeout looking. One down on the battle will be Savannah Upton, who also struck out her first time up. Uh, Michaela Santos. I'm sorry, Michaela Santos, excuse me. I think it's a pin pinch. Pinch hit, yep, okay. Pinch so hitter. Santos is hitting. And that's strike. Almost the same pitch, you know, as uh, the one Appenel struck out on. So with one down, you got Taylor at second, and Frontier needs something going. And if you're Greenfield, lock in. Oof. Swing and a miss. A little late on the swing. So two strikes, no balls. Or no balls, two strikes. You have to think maybe a change-up's coming. Nope. And that, there's that spot again, that high and outside, as she's trying to paint that corner, as she's done so in this game so far. And we'll see uh, see if CeCe, you know, well, CeCe's way down deck. Frontier's leadoff, man. Ooh, chopper. Uh-oh, double play. Oh, she got doubled off, and that'll retire the side. So, tough break. And she popped out to the second, or the shortstop, actually, Hazelton will put it over, and uh, we're out of the inning. Yeah, n nothing you can do really there. Um, what Frontier needs to do, look forward to the next inning, you know. Just get past it. Put in the pass. So a runner left in scoring position, and we go to the top of the fifth. Greenfield still leads 7-2. This is Red Hawk softball on Frontier Community Access Television. We go to the top of the fifth. It'll be Ainsley Flynn, Kelsey Richardson, and Mackenzie Pollen, the hitters for Greenfield, as they are out in front 7-2. So the Hawks got to shut them down here. I don't think you can spot them any more runs. Yeah. In order for Frontier to have a comeback in this 5, 6, 7 inning, you need to – defense needs to lock in and pitching needs to be absolutely phenomenal because you don't want any base runners. Maybe one or two, but that's right. – good, good pitch. And that's what you want if you're Frontier's coach. And you can't – Again, once again, taking away those uh, those couple five errors on the night for Frontier, four or five. Um, 
take away those, this is a whole different game. Great right hit. Right, and it's a base hit. So good hit by uh, number 19, Ainsley Flynn. Ainsley who, Flynn, and that is her second hit of the game. She's also scored two runs, and the batter will be Kelsey Richardson. We'll reach on a fielder's choice her last time up. And the batter is uh, number 29, Jana, or wait, no, Kelsey Richardson. Right, the catcher. And then on deck for Greenfield, you have Mackenzie Pollen. Mackenzie Pollen. Fly ball to the left. Oh, what nice. a catch. Great grab by Duet in left field. Holy cow. That was. <laughs> and now uh, some good sportsmanship over there, <laughs> center and right. That was, that was a phenomenal catch. The line shot, frozen rope, and Richardson pulls is retired, and Mackenzie Pollen is the hitter. And if, if she doesn't catch that, that could be a double ma and maybe a run score. Probably. So Again, to right field. But that's going to be foul, and that would have been a home run if it wasn't foul. Because it was over the fence, I think. And my, uh, my track coach is going over, I think, to grab it. Mr. Flynn. <laughs> uh, a long strike for Mackenzie Pollen, who has two singles and a sacrifice in this game. Yep, my coach. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. That one was a close call over there. It's right in front of us. A lot of dust. Yeah, that's one other thing we talked about on Monday night. There's so much more dust because the field, you don't have the grass field. Though. Right, it's very dry. And that's why grounders are, ooh. So she's definitely on it, number five. Um, yeah, Pollen's a great a great all-around ball player. She's only in eighth grade. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's an eighth grader. She's going to be around this program for a long time. <laughs> and if you're a Frontier Turners or any of the teams around here, you don't want that. <laughs> Well, an eighth grader to, for an eighth grader to win Mass Light Player of the Week is unheard of. Yeah. And she did recently <clears throat> with good reason. She's a great ball player. Hard at ball. No. Oh. Almost double play ball there. So they get the lead runner. Because um, that was a good, smart play by uh, Charlotte Dillette at uh, third to second base. And then they tried to go to first. So two down, and the batter is going to be Gianna Conti. The pitcher who struck out looking and has walked twice. And another lefty. So one thing I will notice is Frontier has, I think, two or three lefties. And that's, that's, oh, and she takes off. Oh, oh. Oh, and she took out the shortstop, too. <laughs> so Macy Ring, you know, that was a good attempt. I don't know if you can do anything about that. No, you can't. So, uh, once again, it's uh, the pitcher versus pitcher, mano y mano, as I like to call it. Strike. Good pitch, just on the outside corner. So, uh, that was number, uh, that was McPollin who got that stolen base there. Right. As, as she caught uh, Frontier lacking. Um, but, maybe no damage here. If that one's outside, one and one the count. See if Olivia Dean can lock in here. A little low. Two and one. Good hitters count. That one's also in the dirt. And she'll take her base. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Oh! Very nearly picked her off at second. She you, she grabbed it with her hand as it was overthrown, and I think that um, if she held onto the ball with her hand, she would have been out. That's Michaela Santos who went in the second base. Yeah, so heads up play there by uh, the second baseman. We got a pinch here. It looks like for Greenfield batting for Dodge. 
and a running, swinging ground ball to first. And she's down one to three. So that retires the side. And that was uh, Kalen Patno who made that out. So we will take a break. We'll come back. Bottom of the fifth upcoming. It's still Greenfield 7, Frontier 2. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. <coughs> Frontier Hill still trailing 7 to 2. And we go to the top of the order. CC Green, Macy Ring, and Lucia Dulette are the hitters for Frontier. Green has scored two runs, singled and walked in this game. And so again, uh, top of the order here. See if she can get something going. Well, they've only got nine outs to play with here. Yeah, so these are... If you're Greenfield, you want to hold on to that lead and yeah. not give Frontier anything. Every at-bat is big here. So we'll see if uh, CC can win the... Ooh. Same spot almost as that last pitch. Yep. Two, so two, two straight balls. That's right. It's not, it's not been consistent today, the strike zone. And I don't know when the last time Greenfield played, but uh, Frontier, once again, they played on Monday night. They would were supposed to play t yesterday, and they play on Friday, too. So, right. Which is... That's a lot of games in five days. Four, four to five is. is huge, and they're lucky. I don't know when their uh, their game is rescheduled to yet, but um, I believe it's it's like the 16th, I think, for Ethel. Swing and a miss. Yeah, and that's that's pretty late, you know. <laughs> I mean, with fall two sports and COVID and everything, you know, every the spring sports are, especially baseball and softball, they're going to. I think playoffs take it to June, July 15th. Right. Pop up. Our, ooh. Almost hits our camera, man. It almost hit our $3,000 camera. <laughs> Should have made the play. That would have been an expensive bill. I was giving hand signs. <laughs> <laughs> and Green is on with a walk. Her second walk of the game. So that's what Frontier needs. Start off with a walk. You have uh, the new batter is, well, the next batter for Frontier is Macy Ring, a senior, the shortstop for uh, Frontier. So this is a big, big at bat. Macy has struck out and has fly to left her first two times up. And that, uh, that fly out was a long fly ball. Yes, it was. So you want to you wonder, you wonder if you hit for a line drive or on the ground like Greenfield kind of has. Because there's been a lot of flyouts for Frontier. Yes, there have. Like a lot. <laughs> you know, another couple feet and maybe they're over the fence. But uh, anyways. Ooh. Holy cow. That one hits off the wall. CeCe will take off to third. Macy will hold at first. And that's right what Frontier needed. One more foot, and that would have been over the fence. Huge at bat. So first and third, and the batter will be Dulette, who's walked twice. And she had that, uh, you know, great catch last defensively, last inning. There's a chance to erase those 300 runs with one swing. Oh. And that was that was a line drive, just like I was it talking was. about. That's Straight what you need. Rope down the center field. Can't ask for a better contact swing. And, well, all, almost a home run. Hit foot below the fence. So, with the count 1-0, and oh, the batter is Lucia Dillette. We'll see if she can get something rolling. Oof. Good cut. And they're swinging on, I think, Frontier. They've had trouble with that outside, you know, when uh, Gianna uh, paints that corner. Outside corner. That one's that one's high cheese. Or I wonder if Macy will take off, and try to take second at some point here. I don't know though, uh, because Frontier they. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe well, Conti's got that fast delivery, so maybe not. Yeah. Swing and a miss. That's that's one thing is uh, Frontier. They had a lot more stolen base on Monday night, and like you know the bunting, the bunt plays, and stuff like that. And actually, one thing I saw that I our Frontier Summer Ball team did was a lot was the suicide squeeze play. Yeah. And that's one of my favorite plays of all time. And that's a little low. So the count is I think full. 3-2. 
So a big, big pitch here by uh, Gianna Co or Conte. And Lucia Dulette. And that one will be walked, so the bases are juiced. And the, and the absolute best person to come up for that is the, Charlotte Dulette. Yeah, the four hitter. And now Greenfield making their first uh, first mound visit. I wonder if uh, Gianna Co will be done. Well, John Hickey has gone to the mound, and it's possible you're going to see McKenzie. And, we'll and, see. and one thing you have to talk to your base runners here is they want to be at least halfway or a third way off the base because anything that gets through, you want to be rolling, ready to go. <laughs> and they're going to stick with Conti, it looks like. So that will be, um, see if she can walk in. Is she a senior for Greenfield? I'm you know? not sure. I have a, a, I'm not sure. Senior or junior. Or maybe a sophomore. Who knows? Anyways, she's yeah. at one of their top pitchers, and right now she's in a, a tough situation with the bases loaded, nobody out, and Charlotte Dulette, the hitter. Charlotte's flat out to short and has had a single today. So, and uh, one thing you have to look at this inning, you have a walk, or uh, is it a hit by Michaela Santos? We had a base on balls, a hit by Ring, and then Dulette. Or the yeah. base on ball. Yeah, and uh, Macy Ring, that one was almost over the fence. Right. You have to think. So, way to hold on that one by uh, Just Charlotte. Just inside. That was a great eye. So, uh, count is 1 0 or 2 0? I believe it's 2 0. 2 0, so you want to wait for your pitch. That one, ooh, a little high. A little high. So now the count's 3 0, and you'd have to think. The way the sump has been calling it, you know, that was, it may have been a good call. But, and same spot, so they will walk in a run. Um, and now up to bat, you have the pitcher, Olivia Dean. So, this is this could be Frontier's rally the, the, that they needed. It is now the game is seven to three with the tying run at the plate. So a grand slam would tie it. Or, yeah. Oh, she comes up swinging. It's a gapper. One run will score. Two runs will score. Throw to the plate. Charlotte takes off the third. She'll be safe. Whoa! I don't know about that call. That is a controversial call. Holy cow. So Frontier, they'll get two runs there. Um, That'll be the first out of the inning, and a great, a great um, hit by Olivia Dean coming out swinging. Well, they're gonna they're gonna talk it over, but I think they got her. But it was, Dean with a two with two RBIs there, and they're gonna give her credit for a double. I mean, I mean the throw the throw beat her, but I don't know, you know, with the tag. It's tough to tell all the dust over there. Yeah, I mean when you slide and the dust is. Whew. <coughs> so that was that was a great great. Timely hit by Olivia Dean. And now, up to bat, you have the eighth grade sensation for Frontier, uh, Delaney Fifield. See Tying she, run. Yeah. As Olivia is the, uh, well, yeah, the tying run is at the plate. That is seven to five. Big, big at bat for Frontier right now. Bunt, oh. She did herself with it. Ow. <laughs> She looks unfazed. Unfazed. There will be a bruise there tomorrow. <laughs> so with one strike on, it's the big at bat. She comes up swinging. It's up the middle. Olivia will take the third. She'll take off, and she will score. So a big hit by eighth grader Delaney Fifield. Holy cow. That and makes it seven to six. And now the tying run is at second. Wow. Holy. Hit by field. Oh my gosh. And now up to bat, you have number 18, Ashley Taylor. Ooh. So that was a drag bunt there. There is one out in the inning. It's the big inning for Frontier right now. A chance to take the lead if uh, Fifield or the Taylor can score. And that's what we talked about. This game. Ooh, did she pull back? Yep. 
And Olivia, or no, nope, Delaney, sorry, she will take off the third. And now the tying run is at third with one, one out. So the count's one and one. Um, a sack fly to the outfield would score the run. And it's a ground to third. Base it's hit. a through ball. Holy moly. Whoa. And we are tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Holy cow. And now the go-ahead run is at first with one gone. And now the batter is number 18, Jillian Appenell. And that's going to be it for Conti. Oh, my gosh. It comes to the mound, and I think you're going to see Paul. <laughs> Holy. So what a comeback for Frontier. They were, they were out of this game, and now they're tied. Fantastic. And that's what you like to see. Seven seven. So Conti will leave, and it's going to be the eighth grader Mackenzie Paul, I believe. And you would have to go back to that uh, when the mound visit, where you know you maybe, well, looking back at the game in the future, um, maybe you pull your pitcher there, but. Well, I mean, you can second guess this all you want. I mean, it, but it, but Frontier's bats just came alive. I yeah, mean, it wasn't as though Conti's velocity was dropping. No, it's, it's it's just the Frontier was just getting some timely hitting. Yeah, it was like Frontier woke up. <laughs> you know, exactly. Um, and so Appenau will be the hitter. Taylor is on first. Represent the go-ahead run and the fireballing eighth grader Mackenzie Pollen. And I think Jillian Appenell is a sophomore or a freshman for Frontier. So, and all around the order, all around the order, um, th this inning started with CC Green on a walk. Then Macy Ring with that uh, that uh, that hit that was a timely hit, and then Lucia Duet with a walk, and then Charlotte was she was she walked in? Charlotte walked. And then that walked in a run. And, and then, then Dean. Yeah, Dean, the mo pitcher, Beaver's pitcher, the mano a mano that I like to say. Um, that was. <laughs> yeah, it's 7 it, it's seven, seven. Seven, seven. So, this pitching change is what Green, you know, maybe what you see. Will Olivia go, go back out to pitch is my well, question. That's, that's, that is a question, and I'm not sure what the answer is. We're going to find out, but we've still got some ball to play here for Frontier. They've only got one out, one on, yep. and Jillian Appenell, who has struck out and looking twice, is due big time. Yeah, and as, she, as the, <coughs> the go-ahead run, as this, the Frontier's blown up, the door's wide open. As the go-ahead run is Ashley Taylor at, at first base. So... Mackenzie Pollen in the circle. Ooh. Good heat. Swinging, swinging a miss. So that pitching change, you know, right there. Bring in your uh, your eighth grade star um, for Greenfield. Comes out swinging, you know. Well, you know, good strike. That one's high, though. So that will even the count one and one. Frontier dugout is chirping away. They can smell it here. Yeah, and I, like I said in the first inning, they were making noise then, and now this inning, now they, they, whew. They have and come all the way back. Oh, and that's Appenel a. Pops it up behind second base. Oh, and it's dropped. And it dropped. So they can make a play at second, though, is, yeah. And they did. So that is, that is a tough play there if you're a base runner. Um, yeah, nothing you can do about that. She was cut down. And that's two outs. And, and Taylor made the smart play staying at first because if, it, if it's caught, you don't want to get doubled up. Exactly. So, and, and, and great defensive play by uh, the shortstop for Greenfield, uh, Katie Hazelton being at short, or being at second base to make that out. Michaela Possible. Santos is the hitter. She got caught in a double play she, in uh, the last inning. Yeah, she pinched, pinched. Oh, great hit. Base hit. Wow. So Frontier's bats have come really alive in this inning. We're back to the top of the order, CC Green. I think this is uh, one of the most exciting games I've uh, commentated. 
Well, this is this is big. You got two on, two out, and Green, who's a good uh, contact hitter up there. Yeah, and she led off the inning with a walk, so you'd have to think maybe she's going to come up swinging on this one with uh, the tying run at uh, second. Oof, that's that is fast pitch there. Yeah, she can definitely haul, fling it. Yeah, and you said like before she's only in a in eighth grade. Eighth grade. Wow. She's got an arm like a senior though. <laughs> I would not want to <laughs> bat against that. Oof. That one goes into the trees. Although, this isn't the baseball field, yeah, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, there's probably fewer softballs in those woods than there are baseballs in the other woods. Yeah, and that goes right in. There's a fence over there, so, you know. <laughs> Plus, the baseball is like a jungle over there. <laughs> True. Or over here, you go. You have the elementary school. That one's low. So, C.C. Green, who is either a uh, junior or sophomore, um, the leadoff man and the catcher for Frontier. We'll see if she can maybe get that last uh, go-ahead run in. But if they can't, there's... Ooh! Base hit in the gap! Holy moly, they're going to wave Jillian in. Michaela will also go. And it looks like two runs will score. Yep. And C.C. will take off the third, and she'll be safe. Oh my gosh! So is that is that a triple or a double? It's a double with a, on a, an advance on the base run. So Four. it's bottom line is it's nine seven frontier. Holy moly, man! On a two run double with an advance to third by CC Green. Some great timely hits in this uh, this inning for Frontier, and maybe they can get one more with Macy Ring, who had that almost home run hit in the, that in this inning. Seven unanswered runs for Frontier, and you'd have to think. Macy Ring with a big bat, just like before. Oh, maybe Ring cranked one earlier. Oh my gosh! And it, that was this inning. Yep. Ooh. Frontiers bats have come alive big time. Seven unanswered runs. Holy moly! Now, maybe they can get one more run, and and Macy Ring with two outs. She swings. It's a oh. Great catch, and uh, and she'll be out. So, with a great inning by Frontier, now they lead 9-7. to seven. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Back after this. Welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your host, Tom Alba, joined with Chris Collins and the whole FGAC crew. As Frontier, in that last inning, they blew the doors wide open, scoring seven unanswered runs. And we'll see if uh, Olivia Dean can lock in here. Yeah, and Frontier looked cooked for a while there, but yeah. the bats came alive and eradicated those three unearned runs that got the big thing started. And so the batter is uh, Casey ha Katie Hazelton. She comes up swinging, short. Oh, can she make the throw from the knees or from from the ground? So the great effort there by uh, Macy Ring. She's really put her body on the line. Um, yeah, that's an infield hit. Yeah, she definitely got, but great stop by Macy in an attempt to get her at first. So Hazelton's on. So some speed on the bases for Greenfield, as they're not going to go down fighting. Or they're, they're not going to go down not fighting. Easily. Yeah. So uh, great pitch there by Olivia Dean. Um, the count is 0-1. Greenfield with runner at first. The uh, tying run is at the plate. Bridge runs 0-3. She scored a run and an error in the first. So she's due for a hit. Back to the pitcher. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, this is what we were talking about before on off air was the the defense needs to knuckle down. Yeah. And you and can't that, you can't yeah. do that. You you really can't. And almost when it's back to the pitcher in both baseball and softball, you know, you want to get that lead runner, but maybe you could just go and throw it over to first because second already has taken off. And and a pinch hitter. Uh-oh. And it's hit up the middle. So Katie Hazelton will take off to home. They'll cut off and they won't get her. But so great hit, and now the score is nine to eight. That was Carly Blanchard pinch hitting, and she gets an RBI single for her trouble. Hazelton scores, and it is nine to eight. And with that, uh, with that error, um, it won't be an. It, it will just be an error. It won't be a right. um, unearned run. Yeah. So the run is earned. But now we're at the top of the order now with Lavoy, the leadoff hitter, coming up. Yeah, she's. Probably have some hits on the night. And bunt, strike. 
and a good play by uh, the catcher and, you know, um, shortstop backing up. And that's one thing the Frontier was doing in the first couple innings. They were throwing the ball around and with that, <laughs> with that uh, home run strikeout, <laughs> you know. So, bunt again. They'll let it go foul. So now with two strikes, I don't know if she'll be bunting. Tell you, they're lucky. That was a good bunt. It just, yeah. just rolled foul. And the, the thing that I've noticed with softball is there's a lot more bunting than there is in baseball. Well, plus, it's the, a bunt's going to die on this uh, yeah. on this this sandy field. Yeah, and with, well, like we were talking about earlier, it's the dust. Yeah, it also may affect the vision. So I don't know if she's going to bunt with two strikes. Swing, pop up to the catcher. CC Green makes the catch. That's a big out. That's a, that makes up for that uh, that error that they had. So there's one gone. Um, and the batter is number 19. Ainsley Flynn. Ainsley Flynn, who is the uh, in the two hole. Gnome. Third sacker for uh, Greenfield. And she has two singles and reached on an error and scored two runs and has walked in this game. So Greenfield, they did. Oh, Pop over up. on the our side, coming our way. Um. <laughs> Just out of reach of our $3,000 camera. <laughs> Very nearly hit our thirty dollar <laughs> tent as well, or your uh, priceless. Everything commentator. everything has a dollar figure <laughs> attached to it when you're in my job. And we're we're uh, we're priceless. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I'm not worried about you. You can get out of the way. Or if it hits me, it hits me. <laughs> good stop by Green. Uh oh. Oh no. But a good good backup play there by uh, Delaney Fifield. I mean I. Again, you don't want to be hucking the ball around no, like that no. in, in a one-run game. It, if it's, We've it, already got five or six errors on the board. Yeah, you, you cannot be throwing it, especially in this tight of a game, 9-8. You're not throwing the ball around. And a team that can score runs in bunches, as we've already seen. Yeah, both teams power. Hit, back to the third or for, cat pitcher. Maybe a double play. Did they get and, him? Nope. Oh, so, just barely. So great heads-up play by Olivia Dean. Over to Charlotte Dulet at third, and then tried to get the double play at first. And that was an all-around. So now there's two outs in the inning. Um, with only one, earn, one, one earned run scored to make it 9-8. Um, the batter is Kelsey Richardson, who flat out to the left. And she's got a couple of singles and a run scored in this game. And on deck, you have uh, Mackenzie Pollen. So... It's easy Green's been throwing it hard back to the... Well, both catchers I've noticed have been doing that, and I think and maybe to see if the runners get spooked and take off. Yeah. Make it think, think again as a pickoff play. Yeah. That one's, oof, a little low, oh. you know. Yeah. Well, again, that was a strike the other way when you had yeah. a left-handed batter in the last inning. Yeah, I don't know. It's inconsistent. There you go. <laughs> it's all right. Human error. I don't want to get fined like yeah. like the Bruins coach did. Ooh, good scoop by CC. Oh yeah, didn't he? Didn't he get fined like twenty twenty five thousand for just? And I and I oh. he couldn't have been any more conciliatory if he yeah. tried. Yeah, and he got fined twenty five k. Believe me, it's Most, it's a sore subject. Yeah, and uh, I've been watching the Bruins, and there's been so many penalties every single game they face. You wonder if the refs are paid. <laughs> <laughs> That was Tom that said that. I didn't say that. No. Everybody's watching on YouTube. You, you can uh, you can find Tom Albert <laughs> or Lisa Albert. <laughs> yeah, right. More my mom. Yeah, my the, mom won't be happy. Send the bill to Lisa. <laughs> she won't be happy. Uh, anyways, back to baseball or softball. Oh. Fly ball in the gap. Oh. oh home run. Oh, that hurt. That hurts a lot. Three-run homer makes it 11-9 Greenfield. Kelsey Richardson. Holy moly! That was that was right after right after the bat. We could tell it was gone. Yikes! So that's a three-run bomb. Yeah. So, eleven-nine is the score. Wow! And so in Frontier having that coming off that big inning, scoring seven unearned runs or unanswered runs, and uh, now Greenfield having a big inning here with scoring four runs. Yep, they have scored in this inning. Uh, they have scored four runs, and it's two outs, and Mackenzie Pollen steps in. So we are at the top of the top.
top of the sixth top inning. Of the sixth. And uh, Greenfield's down to their, uh, they have four outs, from, you know, four lives remaining, we could say. And uh, Frontier has six. Unless we, who knows, maybe this game could it, go to extras. It may very well. The way this last couple innings have come going. And we're running out of daylight. Yeah. Should have started at 5.30. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it in time. You would have been late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was on time. They started early, though. They did. A couple minutes early. <laughs> They'll think that way for this very reason. Yeah. Ground ball foul. Yeah. So is there uh, one? In the counts two and one. I believe it's two and one. Two and one. So good hitters count. Or actually one and one. You know, I don't know. Anyhow, Olivia Dean to Mackenzie Paul or yep. pop, pop fly. Oh, another error. An error. That was uh, Macy went back to get it. And Typically, the, the left fielder coming in makes that call, but and didn't and happen. And the uh, the thing that I noticed, it was right in you know, that sun gap. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that is just unlucky. So Conti is the hitter. Pitcher versus pitcher here. Well, not anymore. She's been taken out of the game. Um, Pollen is the pitcher now of record, but Conti. Has had a, herself a pretty good game. Other than and, that. And uh, she's had a, a good eye. She had a couple of walks. Yeah. And I think um, when you look back at this game, it's the errors on Frontier. Greenfield maybe having one one or two errors, and Frontier having six or seven now, which that's big, you know, especially we keep going back to the uh, home run strikeout. You know? Right. They threw the ball around, and that's where you just – you don't want to do. Right now, the backbreaker was a 3-1 bomb by Richardson that cleared the bases and gave them the lead back. Yeah. Oof. And the thing that we've seen a lot is uh, CeCe Green throws it over to first and third. And, and you know, second with that, uh, they almost made that tag out at second by Michaela Santos. Right. So, she has a cannon. <laughs> we'll see if Olivia Dean... Little high, take a base. Wonder if they will. Uh, Olivia is starting to show signs of, uh, yeah. of fatigue. And and like I said again, so she's gone 13 innings in the past three days. So Dodge is the hitter, and that's 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 big. You know, when you have your when you have your ace on the mound, you don't want to leave her out there, especially with a game on Friday. I'm not sure who they're going to throw against Turner's on Friday. I think. Maybe either you give it to Savannah or Julian Apino, mm -hmm. one of the two, because you gotta you gotta save Olivia for playoffs. Well, again, you're, you're talking about. I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. But we're talking about now playing for seedings. Yeah, I mean, this is a big game. Friday's a big game, and you're playing a team that's unbeaten, Whew. and a you know arguably the best team in Western Mass, possibly in the state. Yeah, being undefeated this late in the season is huge. That's that's a well, that's that's Gary Mullins. That's their that program has been around for a long time, and and it's it's a, a leg one of those legacy heritage programs that just doesn't yeah. rebuild; they reload every year. Uh -huh. That's uh, it's kind of like our track and cross country team. Yeah, <laughs> fifty two and oh. <laughs> six years or five years actually. Excuse me. And Pollen got third. Is she? Oh, let's see. So that was she. she that was a stolen base, a yeah. double steal, actually. So yeah. two runners in the scoring position. So Dodge with a chance to and put two more in here if she can get a hold of one. Yeah, and if you're frontier here, you want to lock down on defense. You want nothing getting through any play in the outfield. You want to come up and try to only let up one run if it's hit to the outfield. There we go. Strike three. That's a big strikeout and a big end of an inning as they strand two, but Greenfield takes the lead back. They get four. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. Greenfield leads Frontier 11-9. to nine. So big game. This and is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Financial support for FCAT sports coverage provided by Attorney Daniel F. Graves. Need legal help? Call Daniel Graves today at 773-8706. 
He is also Deerfield's current town moderator. Cheslick's Market. Great lunch specials, sandwiches, baked goods, and homemade meals. Right next to the Common in South Deerfield. Gilmore and Farrell Insurance, Burniston Road, Greenfield. Your trusted choice for personal and commercial insurance. 413-773-3686. Attorney Leah M. Phillips, 22 Mohawk Trail, Greenfield. Your go-to lawyer for all your legal services. Learn more at www.lphillipslaw.com. The Doulette sisters and Olivia Dean, the hitters for Frontier here in the bottom of the sixth, trailing 11 and 9. It's be a good time for some power from the Doulette sisters. Yeah, you need maybe back-to-back home rounds, and that would be, be pretty cool. <laughs> Tie up the game. So once again, uh, 11 and 9. Frontier with six outs remaining, or six lives remaining, and uh, Greenfield down to three. But they've got a two-run lead, so yeah, this is a big, big inning here. Yeah, and Frontier will have if they, you know, ooh, good pitch to lay off of, great eye. So so um, the count is two and zero. Strike right at the letters. Yeah, you could you could tell right away. And once again, we uh, we'll, we will repeat that um, Mackenzie Pollen, she's an eighth grader. She's batting in the four hole for uh, Greenfield, and she won Mass Live Athlete, Athlete of the Week. So. And she starred on the Valley Storm team as well. And Lucia will take her base, and that is that is a big big walk. So the tying run comes to the plate, and the person of the cleanup hitter, Charlotte Duet, and uh, and waiting on deck. Who had that timely hit in the last inning to get it, get it rolling <coughs> is uh, Olivia Dean. So we will go over no outs and man on first. Tying run is at the plate. Ball high and away. So Charlotte, the Duet sisters, the Duet duo, you could say. Charlotte's gonna wait for her pitch. Ooh. Well, Pollen right now is trying to get these guys to chase a little bit. She's throwing some outside heat, a little low, some low heat to try and get Duet. And believe me, you don't want to throw anything in her wheelhouse. Yeah. Otherwise, it's Ooh. going south. It's it's going over the fence. <laughs> and uh, some careful pitching, you know. Oh, fouled off. Did it hit Alex Truck? <laughs> no, but <Darn> it. <laughs> send me the, send me the bill, Alex, okay. and I'll send and I'll send it back. <laughs> so uh, that one was a hard hit off the bat, and uh, she's definitely swinging for the fences here. And then she's the tying run. Again, pop up closer to the truck, but not this time out of place still. <laughs> So, you have uh, two foul balls. I got to believe that Pollen's putting a little bit of spin on that because that, those two were yeah. good contact, but they spun way back. Yeah, they're, they're backspin. So, you wonder if it's like the way she releases the ball, yeah, the release might, point. Yeah, there's certainly some element of that, I think. She's going to be around for a couple of years. Oh, so that. Oh. Just got her at oh. Once again, that is uh, another, you know, tie usually goes to the runner, but uh, you Not never know. Not that time. Not that one. It's a big out for Greenfield. Now Olivia comes up. Yeah, because the tying run would be at first base instead of second. So that's a huge out for Greenfield. And now I think Garrett Dean's going to talk to the home plate ump just to get clarification. Yeah. And because the, the field ump, you know, he was the one that made the call. So unless they, they talk it over, it's, it's an out. So... Who had a big hit, timely hit last inning is Olivia Dean, the pitcher for uh, for Frontier. You could say their ace almost. Um, she had a bases clearing double. Yeah. And then Greenfield did make an out on that play, um, but so you would have to, you know, it would be second and third instead of 
to dress second. So, Olivia Dean will, as there's one ball, it is an eighth grader versus senior. That one's in the dirt. So she's going to wait for hers, as it is 2-0. Well. This is a big at bat if you're Olivia Dean because you're the tying run at the plate. Oof. Good pitch. A good cut, too. A one out. <laughs> There's some comments behind us. The peanut gallery does not like the umpire. Anymore. Yeah, they don't like the field one. <laughs> oh! Uh oh. Yep. That was almost a sort of a check swing. Ah, oh, man. But that one right to the center fielder, so two gone. Probably like 10, 15 feet away from a home run. Delaney so, Fifield is the hitter. And she had a big timely hit last inning, yep. too. So Delaney Fifield, the eighth grader, eighth grade versus eighth grade. Um, the future, the future versus the future. Ooh. But actually, they're both in the present right now because they're both playing varsity ball at eighth, at eighth grade. Yep. Now one's low. A little change up there. So you have to think with the tying run at the plate. This is a huge at bat. As there's two gone. Yep. There's two gone. Right. This is you. You need this here, as you're down to your last four outs. That one's high. And on deck you have uh, waiting is number 18, Ashley uh, Taylor. Taylor. Yep. Behind her is Jillian Appenau. So, Charles Dillette at first, tying run, Delaney Fifield. Grounder to short. Can they make the play? Katie Hazelton over to first, and that will be, that will end the inning. So, with 11 to nine, and Frontiers, Bottom of the order in, in for the seventh. Um, and Greenfield will have a chance to extend their lead. We'll go to the, take the break. Coming up, Greenfield top of the seventh. It's the Red Hawk softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Go to the top of the seventh. It'll be Hazelton, Bergeron, and the number nine hitter, Blanchard, who had a very timely single that drove in a run her last time up. All right, and uh, both teams down to their final three outs. I think you got to put them down if you can. One, two, three here. Yeah, you got it. Give Take yourself a fighting chance in the ninth, in the seventh. Yeah. Hazelton comes out with a swing. First ball swing, and Katie's on board with a single. And that was that was right up the middle. Uh oh! And they threw that ball around, so she'll take off the second. And it didn't go out of play. That otherwise, she may have gotten third. Absolutely unnecessary. You did you, not have to do that. No. And now you take away the double play ball. And you got a runner in scoring position. They can pad their lead if they can get a hold of one here. Yeah. And now the batter is uh, number 12. Amber uh, Bergeron. Amber Bergeron, who is has some hits on the night. Uh, I think all around both teams, I think uh, everyone's got a hit. But if you're frontier. I'm amazed Dean's still in there. Yeah. I mean, I really am. I, I she, re she, she seemed like she was getting really tired before. Yeah, and she pitched... On Monday night, and then in the seventh, you had uh, Savannah up and close the game. Uh oh, that's Five gonna ball. stay Five. foul though. They're lucky. Whew. If you can straighten that out, if you're Greenfield, you want to hit one of the gaps. Well, Dillette was on her horse, but she wasn't going to catch up to that one. <laughs> no. I mean, and she can cover some good ground out there. I mean, it's a good good outfield speed for Frontier. And she had that really nice, amazing catch um, in the other inning where she caught, you know. She was still, I think, in the air and running back to catch it. Right. So, good scoop by CC. So, with no outs, Katie Hazelden, who let off the inning with a grounder up the middle and then throwing at her, reach second. You have uh, Amber Bruger onto the plate. Greenfield looking to extend their lead. Frontier, they want to fizzle that out. So, with uh, another lefty for uh, Greenfield. They have a couple of those. Ooh, 
Big strikeout. That's huge. That is that is big if you're Frontier. So one and one down. And Greenfield's down to their final two lives. And Blanchard is the hitter. She uh pinch she pinched it last time up and she got a single on an RBI. And that's a that's a big strike. And like you said, and like we've talked about before, is this will be her Olivia Dean's thirteenth inning in the past yeah, that's, three days. That's a lot. But I, I don't know if they have anybody else that they can put in there. And yeah, she seems to have gotten stronger as the game's gone on, which yeah. is unusual. And and like I talked about uh, earlier as well, is her and Tyler Branowski, you know, softball and baseball, they're very much alike. Because the, the longer the game goes on, they get better. And you'd have to think if this goes in extras, are you going to stick with Olivia Dean, or are yeah, you going to bring in someone else? I don't else? know. That's a good question. That's the million dollar question. And they got the Thunder waiting in the wings on Friday. Yeah, and I don't think you, I mean, you have that day of rest, but pitching on Monday night, Wednesday night, and Friday night, I don't know. I don't and know keep about in mind, that. she's not a finesse pitcher. She's a she throws hard, so yeah. you know she needs to have, be able to have that velocity. Yeah, otherwise they'll blow. Turner's will blow the game wide open. Yeah, uh, they've got Jade Tyler and a whole bunch of other weapons on that team. Oh, not caught. It's going to drop. So Katie Hazelton will score with a stand-up double by uh, Amber. Or so, sorry, 16. Ka Carly. Uh, Carly Blanchard. Blanchard. Her second RBI single. So once again, I think. Uh, Garrett Dean will, this is his fourth mound visit of the game, and I think Olivia will be done, or she will finish up the game. Because it's... Uh, that makes it 12-9. Blanchard's had quite a, a job in relief. Yeah. Off the bench. Two singles, two RBIs, and she scored a run. And now we go back to the top of the order to Lavoine. In Frontier, they, the only two points of the game where they led was that first inning, or that second inning where they scored one run, and then Greenfield blew out the Gates wide open that bottom of the second with a couple errors on Frontiers wise. Um, and then Frontier having that big, big inning um, last inning, or the bottom of the fifth. So I think I think you they just made the move and Julian Appledal will step in in relief. So Olivia Dean will move over to first and yep, that will uh, well, I think that as a gutty performance, certainly she uh, she had her moments where she was pretty dominant, and then there was you know I think that what 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 killed her today was the f was the field and the defense. Yeah, I mean all the errors really you know uh, have been the difference here for Frontier. They came all the way back, and then some time in and that three run homer by Richardson was the, really the backbreaker. If and they don't come back to win this game in the seventh, and if you look at this game seeding wise. I wonder. I, I do wonder what Greenfield's record is, because I think maybe Turner's. You said they were undefeated, and then does it go um, either Frontier or Greenfield? One of those. Again, I'm not sure if they're even in the same division. Yeah, who That's knows? That's the other thing. Well, there's Division two and three, and I'm not sure. I think Turner's is in two, and I think Frontier's in two. I don't know about Greenfield, but in any event, you know, we've we've still got a chance. To, you know, there's still got a little bit of softball to play. Or they might very well be able to pull it out. Yeah. And Frontier, they came off that uh, Monday night win. They won 5-1. to one, And Olivia pitched six innings there. And today she pitched seven and two-third? One, no, seven innings. So, yep. and so then, yeah. Apodel is on the, on the circle, and it's Caitlin Lavoine, the center fielder, the header for Greenfield. Grounder to first. Olivia, she'll pick it up and step on first, and there we go. So that's what they needed. <laughs> they needed that out. And now there's a runner at, <laughs> runner at third. Um, as that runner moved to third to third yep. in that play. So uh, one gone. Greenfield leads 12 to 9, and Greenfield's down to the last, last two lives. Ainsley Flynn is the batter. And once again, that was a hard hit grounder at first, and for yeah. you know she picked it up and stepped on first, and that's what you got to do. No throwing it around or anything. So two outs, one on, one run in for Greenfield. Let's be a big out here to get. Yeah. See, see, uh, 
almost looked like she steered down the runner there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, caught in, look down there. <laughs> Steer down and walk out to the pitcher's mound. So, uh, batter is, uh, 19. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Ugh. Almost a catch. So, uh, Frontier giving one thing we'll have to look back at. That wasn't definitely not an error. No, that um, was a hit. That was a hit. So Frontier with the, you know, you you take away that uh, home run, three run, you know, you could say it a three run home run error on a strikeout. It's because Frontier threw around the ball, and then they had had some other, you know, errors, and they threw around the ball, but. Um, yeah, but the difference is they came all the way back. Yeah, and, and it's, the, it's unfortunate to see this happen. You yeah. know, in the the, and I'm sure there'll be discussion about the defense. Because once you get into the postseason, you can't make those kinds of mistakes. No. I mean, it's one thing to do it in the regular season. It's bad enough to do it in the game. You should be winning. Yeah. They they um, they um should be winning the game right now. But, but however, the way they worked their way back in that huge explosive seven seven run unanswered runs in the, that fifth inning. So, we do concur. And fly out or fly up. Olivia Dane waves everyone off, and that will end the inning. So Greenfield, they get they get a couple of runs there, insurance runs, and now Frontier, they're gonna have to have a big bottom of the seventh inning. As we go to the bottom of the seventh, it's Greenfield 13, Frontier 9, last three outs upcoming. This is Red Hawk Softball on Frontier Community Access Television. Welcome back to uh, Frontier Community Access Television. I'm your uh, host, Tom Albert, joined with Chris Collins, as we've had a very exciting game as the sun's starting to go down, finally. Um, and Frontier down to their last three outs. As we talked about before, on defensive, they've had a couple um, throw around, throwing the, around the ball, which is not a thing you do in softball or baseball. It'll be Taylor Appinell and... Santos, the hitters for Frontier. So as they're down to their final three outs. Oh, well, that was a nasty, <laughs> nasty <laughs> changeup. That was that was almost like a curveball, you know. <laughs> even though it's a changeup. Um, so Frontier, they have seven, eight, nine, and then top of the order, CC Green, if she gets in a bat. Ooh, two straight strikes. And you'd have to think um, the way both both the uh, the umps have been calling this game. It's been it's been you know pretty good um, both ways. But they may want to get this game over with. So <laughs> well, hit over to third. Can they make the play? It's hard off the bag, or maybe not. No, they got her. They got her. So uh, now final two outs, final two lives as. Uh, See if Jillian Appinell can get something going. And on deck you have awaiting uh, Michaela Santos. So... We'll just have to wait and see as... Uh, oof. That one's over there and in, in the trees. <laughs> Honestly, when you uh, when you go and talk about this game at the end of the day, if you're both coaches, one thing uh, we'll have to talk about is the pitching and how they did not give up. You know, both teams. True. They there was never a point in the night where either team gave up. Well, I think that it's it. You know, both teams showed great resiliency. I think that the the big difference was the three run homer by Richardson and the and the errors. Yeah. But those errors is a different ball game. You take away those errors, and maybe Frontier has the lead. Right, and the, and the thing is, you don't want to ever give away a game. And this team, you cannot give those kinds of opportunities no. to. They're too they're too deep. They got too many good weapons. Yeah, offensively. And like and like we said, <laughs> like we said before, um, we had uh, that. Uh, I keep going back to it. I I don't know why. It's just it stuck with me. Is that a uh, home run strikeout? Strikeout. You well, know that was a, that was a key moment. I mean that that was demoralizing in a lot of ways. But did Frontier did not, you know, they could have rolled up the tents and gone home at that point, but they didn't. They they, yeah. they hung in there and fought their way back. Yeah, with that uh, big seventh inning, you know, you're going to go down the order. It went, they went through the order in that inning. Oof. So Jillian Ampina will strike out. Oof. That is, that is big. 
you know, and, and Greenfield, they um, they went to their relief pitcher, you know, when, when uh, Conte or uh, Gianna Conte was, you know, you could tell there was a little fatigue. Right. And I wonder if when the last game, you know, two things I wonder in this game is uh, Greenfield's record and two, if the last time they played. Ooh. Santos, good cut. So once again, uh, the eighth grade, I think the two eighth grade sensations, one for Greenfield and one for uh, Frontiers, the Mass a a mass Live Athlete of the Week. Um, yeah, Mac McKenzie. McKenzie. Paul. And um, for Frontier, on the other side, you have Delaney Fifield, who's the center fielder. So uh, Frontier, they're down to their last out. We'll see if they can have a rally going with two outs, which, you know, it sometimes happens. Um we we'll have to wait and see. And that's strike and three. That's the game. So the final score is the Frontier Redhawks drop a tough one to Greenfield by a score of 13 to 9. And getting the win and relief on the mound was Mackenzie Paulin. And uh, taking the loss on the mound, although a gutty performance for Olivia Dean, who pitching on one day rest yeah. and still hung in there for almost seven innings. But it was one of those situations where it just wasn't to be. I mean, yeah. Frontier gave up. You know, they spotted these guys five runs early on on errors, and they came all the way back only to have their, you know, sort of the rug pulled out from under them by the, the home run by the catcher and by a couple of other, again, errant plays in the field. But, you know, there's yep. always tomorrow. and Yeah. But it doesn't get any easier because Friday night, senior night, Turner's yeah. Falls Thunder comes to town. We'll and have that game. I, I wonder if uh, the Frontier will start with um, Olivia Dean or the, maybe she'll come in in relief. We're I don't know. find out. And um, <coughs> one, gr one thing to take away from if you're both teams, you hang your head up high yep. because you, there wasn't a point in the game where either team gave up. And, you, you know, Frontier, like you said earlier, they could have just gone home and said in that inning where they were losing, you know, 7-2. to two. But instead, they they rolled, got the bats rolling, and they won. Uh, or well, they scored seven unanswered runs in that fifth inning, and yeah. Now they're out in left field talking about it a bit, and of course we'll be back on Friday night for a senior night, as the Turner's Falls Thunder brings their heavy bats to town to take on the Frontier Red Hawks. So that'll do it for our coverage. My broadcast partner Tom Vero and for the FCAT crew here, uh, Josh, Alec, Megan, and the whole bunch. And uh, who am I forgetting? Josh, and Bianca, oh, but I and but as well, and of course, mm -hmm. the executive producer Kevin Murphy, and then I'm uh, Chris Collins. The final score I mentioned, Josh. Yeah, the final score for the final time. Greenfield beats Frontier 13 to nine. So long, and thanks for watching Frontier Softball. Frontier Media. Softball.